If your New Year's resolution was to exercise more or try something new, there's one activity making a comeback that could fit the bill. Krista Kudrowski slides grapevines and stomps her way to learning line dancing with the rest of the class. These boots were made for dancing. Line dancing, that is. From Nashville to Las Vegas, line dancing is making a comeback. And North Dakota is no exception. So I had to see for myself what all the stomping was about. Lucy Weigel has been teaching all kinds of dance classes since the late 80s and says it's making a comeback. She attributes its rise in popularity to what makes it different to most dances. You know, you have a couple's dance. You have, you have the two-step, the three-step, and the waltz. Where, where with line dancing, you don't need a partner. A group of about 15 dancers gather every Thursday. They say the important thing is just to have fun, even if you take a few extra steps. It's a lot of fun because we're all willing to make mistakes, but we help each other, and it's, it's a no-pressure activity. Sure, it's hard to work for two hours. I am sweating already. <laughs> and remember the steps, but those are some of the benefits of the class. It's a great workout. It's almost like cardio line dancing, yes. <laughs> Lucy says line dancing is fun at any age, but especially great for seniors because it challenges their minds to stay sharp. Whether it's your 100th time or your first time. Doesn't matter who walks in here, we're going to have fun. There's a community and a good time waiting in line for you. In Mandan, I'm Krista Kidrowski reporting for your news leader. Lucy says line dancing is more fun when you can bring a friend. Krista and Cliff Naylor tore up the dance floor together and can say for certain it's the most fun with friends and a video camera for evidence, of course. This was actually the last project Cliff filmed before he retired last week. Line dancing classes are $10 per class. They're held Thursday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Eagles Club in Mandan.